Thank you. I'd like to welcome you. My name is Patrick Latorto, and I'd like to welcome you to the Institute of Divine Medicine, and I'll be your moderator for this evening. I'd like to welcome you to the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. This is a school and not a church, and neither are we affiliated with any religious, sorry, just, just, yeah, any religious organization. There we go. This is a non-profit, non-denominational, religious and scientific research organization dedicated to showing proof of the existence of Yahweh our Elohim and the operation of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operating throughout eternity until this present day. This school was founded as it was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation which was given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley, in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. The school was later incorporated in the state of California in the year 1958. We hold brand schools in the United States, Canada, Africa, and Jamaica, just to name a few. The Northside Chicago branch was established in the year 2007. The dean of the Northside Chicago branch is Dr. John Quaist, the president is Dr. Brandon Walker, and, the, and myself, Dr. Pat Latorti, the vice president. Now, in this school, we do use the true and correct and original names and titles for the Father, the Word, or Son, and the Holy Spirit as contained in the original Hebrew script. The name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And what is erroneously substituted with the title of Lord. The divine title for the word or son is Elohim. And it was erroneously substituted with the title of God. The name of the Holy Spirit, whether manifested in or out of a physical embodiment, is Yahshua. And it was erroneously inserted with the name and title of Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and not names. The Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and are God's many. But we now know that each Lord must have a name, and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title which our Creator chose for Himself. Now, Jesus is a name, but it is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part in a good dictionary or encyclopedia or Google will show that neither in the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin language have any characters or letters that can produce this sound made by this letter J. In fact, there wasn't a letter J with even within the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. So such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true and correct divine name of our Heavenly Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Now Yahweh is pure spirit. And in this day, He is inscrutable and He is incomprehensible. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. Now we have Yahweh depicted on this chart as an orange and fiery colored cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud, but he merely chose a cloud to depict himself since a cloud has no descriptive or discernible shape and form. And just as you see this cloud bordering around the edges of this chart, and you see everything on the chart is right within the cloud, so does the entire universe abides right within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now Yahweh, knowing that man cannot perceive a woman in his pure spirit state, he took on shape and form right within himself as Elohim. Now this is the Word or Son, a superincorporeal being that means having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. Now this form can be seen in divine visions and sometimes accompanied by divine revelation. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in a physical embodiment and walked the earth plain as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now, there is only one name given unto salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question we should ask ourselves is, what was the name of the Savior during the time he walked the earth plain? A further understanding of this name and title may be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Now also in this school we teach by a divine pattern of the universe. It is called a divine pattern because it is Yahweh's pattern. Now after, now after Moses, after, oh, I'm sorry, now after Yahweh brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him this pattern, this tabernacle pattern in a vision. He later on instructed the children of Israel to build one just like it in the wilderness of Sinai. Now this pattern consists of a most holy place, a holy place, and a court roundabout. Three compartments making up the one tabernacle pattern. Now in this school we show proof that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and function of this threefold tabernacle pattern. And absolutely nothing escapes 
the pattern. Now, in this school, we have 10 primary constitutional aims and objectives, and they are as follows. First is to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is and actually exists. Second is to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without the distinction of race, nationality, creed, sex, caste, or colors. Third is to investigate the unexplained spirit law, so-called law of nature, and the power of labor and man. Fourth is to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religion, psychology, philosophy, modern, practical, and occult science. Fifth is to extirpate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Sixth is to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensations and ages. Seventh is to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eighth is to earnestly contend for the common salvation and faith which was once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth is to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained that there is no other name given among men whereby man can or must be saved, saving in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And tenth is to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal, eternal glorification in the newer state. Our watchword is peace, and our slogan is to speak the truth. Our scripture lesson today will be Genesis, the seventh chapter, which will be read by Dr. Deborah Williams. But before that, class will be dedicated in prayer by Dr. May Cohen. Can we have our prayer? Let us bow our hearts and minds. Heavenly Father Yahweh, we want to thank you for giving us yet another opportunity to come to class and learn of you as you really are and actually exist. We thank you for those that uh, went to attend the event in Florida. We thank you for bringing us all home safely. And we ask that you continue to keep us as we know that the time is upon us where this age we're in a probationary period and we're almost at the end of that. And we just pray that you continue to keep us and continue to open up our hearts and minds so we can hear your voice from heaven. These things we ask in your son's name, Yahshua the Messiah. Let us all say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible containing the Holy Name version of Old and New Testaments, critically compared with ancient authorities in various manuscripts, revised by A.B. Trainer, the Scripture Research Association, reprinted by Yashua Promotions. Uh, this is Genesis, the seventh chapter. And Yahweh said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female, of birds also of the heavens by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days and I will cause it to rain upon the earth. Forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will I blot out from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according unto all that Yahweh commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons, and his sons' wives, with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood, of the clean beast and of the beasts that are not clean, and of birds, and of everything that creepeth upon the ground. There went in two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as Elohim had commanded Noah. And it came to pass that on the seventh day, 
that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventh day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the flood gates of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. They and every beast according to kind, and all the cattle according to kind, and every creeping thing, thing that creepeth upon the earth according to kind and every fowl according to kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as Elohim had commanded him, and Yahweh shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth. The waters increased, and bare up the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth. And the waters prevailed, and they were increased greatly upon the earth. And the ark went upon the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth. And all the high hills that were under the whole heavens were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all flesh died that moved upon the cattle, I mean, moved upon the earth, both of birds and of cattle and of beasts and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, and every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land died, and every living substance that, and every living substance was blotted out, which was what, which was upon the face of the ground both man and cattle and the creeping things and the birds of the heavens and they were destroyed from the earth and Noah only remained and they that were with him in the ark and the waters prevailed upon the earth an hundred and fifty days that was Genesis the seventh chapter good evening again good evening hi Okay, we would like to start off class with testimonies from those who went to their lovely event in Florida. So whoever would like to give a lovely testimony for the, for the event in Florida, please. <coughs> Don't look at me like I'm pretty <laughs> <laughs> Yahweh, and um, which he is the law itself. 
he is he is that law itself. Mm -hmm. um, and so can you continue? Ten, ten Commandment law. Right. Mm -hmm. Aaron's rod budded. Aaron's rod budded. Mm -hmm. Golden pot of manna. The golden pot of manna. Golden censer. And the golden censer, as it states in there, that was waffled up uh, on the day of atonement. Um, and then continue Con on. Conscious law. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, because he's hidden. Okay, then this one, the holy, holy place. place. Golden okay. lampstand, right? The lampstand, and that would be like an Elohim because it was took, he was uh, in part um, in shape and form, and that would be like him too. He, it kind of showed me universal spirit law because everything was formed after that law, the creation and things like that, and it was discussed in there. Um, it was formed um, after and couched in the law itself because <laughs> you can't break up. His law. That's kind of what he was. He showed me the whole event. Just like you have one spirit with the two manifestations. You have the one law, which is universal spirit law, and then the law of spirit of life. So that's kind of how he showed me. This encouched in the one law. And um, continue on. Golden shoe bread. Right. Mm -hmm. Golden altar of incense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Court, court roundabout. In the court roundabout. Altar of sin sacrifice. Right, we have this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Raising labor. Raising labor. Holy mm -hmm. cup of anointing. Oh, and that's where he showed me which is the law of spirit of life because we know not every soul has the gift of the, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And it talks in there too, I don't think we got time to get it, but it talks in there how um, the law of the spirit of life eradicates that, that darkened mind, it just eradicates it. And so him being in you, it will harmonize his right. will with your will. Mm -hmm. So it, it harmonizes his will. Mm -hmm. you, but this is the word mm -hmm. in the sun. So it, it harmonizes you, which is in the natural that's man. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's how he showed me that right. um, that that law is it's in right. one, but it has the two manifestations. Right. And um, that's kind of what he showed me with that. And I was glad because you can't break up his law. He is law itself. You can't break it up, but one thing he did show me that not not everybody has that, so they don't have him. Right. They're right. just not blessed with the right. Holy Spirit. Right. Not, right. Everyone right. in the camp was anointed with the oil, just the high priest. So, um, you know, at that time, you know, mm -hmm. after Pentecost, you know, of course, you know, we can have that gift, you know, and he talks about that old law, which is he called the, um, we call the most Zaic law, but he calls it in the transcript the law of Yahweh, and he talks about um, how the point of it was to bring it into fulfillment, and it's written in your heart and mind, so that transcript is really good, and it just thoroughly explained the whole point of these, <laughs> it thoroughly explained it, and I was just glad that he showed me according to him, which is the, uh, you know, pattern himself, and I was just glad that he, he showed me that. So, with that, I just said, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. conscious if you do anything it's because you know if, you, if he allows you to do anything it's because it's his will and just in saying that I always you know I had like to say well if it be his will that I go and I'm I was grateful to him for you know just letting me uh, just allowing me to go and sup with the brother but um, the trip itself was very beautiful the war the weather was extremely hot. It's kind of get, glad to get back here. <laughs> um, the brother, it was beautiful. It was As it was pointed out, it was, um, the school that I think it was Orlando that gave it, right? Was it Orlando? Uh, they pointed out it was 33 schools there in that in, uh, in that area and uh, they are definitely going to be giving the, uh, that event again. And um, 
the substance that was really talked about what the Holy Spirit said through the various speakers that were called to the floor is to me what I got the revelation that I got is very it's a it's an urgency and it's a seriousness that's going on whether people is conscious of it or not but it was said by one of the speakers that Yahweh is gathering um, at this point in time in history because it's so much it's so many reflexes going on that you have to come to a point in your life to be serious with this gospel or you know or no it's it's a point where you have to become conscious of it and um, the event itself <clears throat> you know Seth and uh, his, his sister they kind of told how at the end of the whole thing how they kind of told how Yahweh had actually moved them to have the event which was which was really beautiful to see that they relied on the Holy Spirit to do that but um, the substance of what was talked about or what I got, and I really didn't have a chance to look at my little notes because I had to work my little job today. So <laughs> I didn't have a chance to go over it, so I have to really just go, go by what uh, Yahweh just kind of revealed to me uh, there. Uh, the, the speaker that one Yahweh used, one was the uh, dean from, um, was that Spanish town? Mm -hmm. Really had an impact on me uh, because uh, Throughout the whole lecture that the Holy Spirit was preaching through her was about witnesses. Learning how to have your witnesses in order by the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, it was learning how to use this tabernacle pattern. And if he's if he allow you to speak to anyone or he's the one that's doing it, you have to have your witnesses. I can really not stress that enough. The witnesses that Yahshua the Messiah laid down to give you the proof and evidence of who he is and how to use the witnesses. That was really, uh, was hammered. Uh, another speaker that Yahweh just a revelation was Rhonda Brazil that talked about the current events of the, the current president and how that uh, she spoke about this ice cap, uh, the melting of the waters and how that there, 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 there may or may not, you know, Yahweh may or may not have, if, if the schools and stuff don't happen or whatever, if he shut the thing down, that it's going to be a lot of changes with this administration. So it was a very, it was a seriousness that went out as far as getting this thing straight. And the subject matter of universal spirit law and the uh, the law of the spirit of life was, I thought it was covered very thoroughly. And um, one of the vessels, Rick Trevison, Dr. Rick Trevison, uh, to me, you know, very, he just kind of encapsulated that and made it very simple. Of, of you of knowing what the universal spirit law does like the law that controls the, the planets and it, it allows the trees and, the, and so forth to grow uh, as compared to the law of the spirit of life which is talking about uh, one being elevated in an understanding a knowledge and understanding in their heart and mind mm -hmm. and how that, that those is one like Gabriel said it's really one law but like, like it was said, like Yahweh's one universal spirit with the power of, of transmutation in, in, the, in, in the physical. So he has two transmutable parts. So this one is really one universal law, but it has two different functions. Mm -hmm. So one is for the natural and the controlling right. everything, right. and even our finite minds. And one is giving you a knowledge and understanding of Yahweh as he's operating through this tabernacle pattern, how he's operating through the ages and dispensations, showing you, showing proof of how Yahweh, by this, uh, this pattern and plan of salvation, how that Yahshua fulfilled, how he moved through this thing, and how in each one of these plates, how he was fulfilling the law, the pride, how everything testified to Yahshua Messiah. Can I get uh, first uh, Colossians 1.13? It was just, it was beautiful. It's always beautiful to sit with the brethren. And I took a few phone numbers and stuff from some of the brethren and hopefully, you know, getting in contact with them. But what was revealed to me in my heart and mind is basically just the seriousness of, uh, of like we always say here in our class, to study more, to try to study. Yahweh is the only one that can open up a man's revelation, but, I mean, give you an understanding of revelation. But your part is... You have to crack open the books, you know. Like I tell my sister, blow the dust, dust off the books, you know. Just start reading something, you know. You got it sitting on the shelf. But 
it's an urgency of knowing how the Messiah died. That was also brought out a lot of how he died, that little word how. It was brought out a whole lot about by what means and what measure he died, but just for my own little house, my own little tent here, it was just the seriousness of, of uh, this gospel being preached uh, until Yahshua get ready to take it out. And it was very, very, it was stressed very hard, like it has been in this class, that he is the teacher. Mm -hmm. No man can teach you. That couldn't be, that was just hammered to me, that it, that he's the teacher and no man can teach you but Yah, the Yahshua the Messiah and give you a revelation and understanding of him and how he's operating down through the ages and dispensations. And I thank Yahweh, I, I become more conscious of uh, him, you know, uh, basically every, you know, most of what he was saying through the vessels is to become more conscious of him and how he's operating in you because you can't look at nobody else and you can't go on nobody else's coattail. You have to get a thorough understanding in your heart and mind of whatever he allows you to understand. I don't, don't care how much or how little, is that you giving the honor and the glory back to the source and substance from which it came, which is Yahweh Elohim. And it was just really, really hammered. And... Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of you know looking forward to our event and what Joshua is going to say, but I I do understand that he's definitely orchestrating this thing, and it is him. And you know, nobody can you know. I mean, you may think that you know you got something to do with, but you really don't. He's the one orchestrating it, and you know, I just thought it was very beautiful to go that far and sup with the brethren there. Some brethren that I've never heard came that have yeah. come to our events to speak. I got to hear for the first time, yeah. like the president of the Orlando class. I thought very eloquent. Yeah. Very yeah. eloquent yeah. as far as what Yahweh yeah. has given him. Yeah. Uh, and the understanding that he had and how he yeah. presented the gospel. Um, I, I thought that was good because some speakers I've never I've never heard, you know, and like the, the young man that um and he was a la well it was the it was Sunday, but he he was a second speaker, I forget his name, but he talked about yeah, how Yahshua used the digestive system. Mm -hmm. And we know in reading the digestive system, and he said the whole purpose is, is in this digestive system right here. And he, the, it wasn't him, it was Joshua through him mm -hmm. that broke this thing. I mean, the spiritual reality that came mm -hmm. out of yeah. just this system right here. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. And he said, I'm going to take you down to the grocery store. And I thought that was so beautiful. I'm like, yeah, let me take you down to the grocery store. And he yeah. talked about like when you go to the grocery store, you pick up things, you smell yeah. it. I mean, you dice, you really, yeah. I thought I thought that was just beautiful how Yahshua spoke through him in just this one system, the whole purpose and plan of Yahweh Elohim. So it is a seriousness out here uh, unlike any other, and Yahweh, I, I do believe he is gathering his sons. It is a separation, the wheat from the tares that's going on. You may not see it, but some of us that Yahweh has, has caused to see this thing, we do understand it, we do see it. And uh, just hold on to Joshua and ask him for any kind of understanding and knowledge uh, that he's going to give to you and your house because you're accountable. You know, like they said, you're, you're accountable for the, the things that you do in the flesh and your knowledge and understanding of him. And he is the king. He is the high, he is the high and lofty one. So I thank him for allowing me to go. And anything that he that I can do, I'm thanking Joshua for his will. Is, is, is it according to his will? And allowing me to do this, or he allowing me to that, giving him all credit and all power and all all prayer goes back to Yahshua Messiah, the resurrected Yahshua Messiah. With that, I like to say hallelujah. 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 so much from it. Uh, when I was sitting there, mm -hmm. um, one thing this speaker uh, previous speaker touched on was how they came through around the, uh, Brazil that they're gathering. So I went outside, standing next to a lady, mm -hmm. was talking. 
So she said that she was from Dallas. Mm -hmm. She said, you know, Dallas is progressive. Mm -hmm. You know, she said, I feel like I'm alone because there's nowhere for me to go. Mm -hmm. You know, she said, you know, no brethren. I mean, I witnessed the gathering. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm like, well, you know, you need to talk to people here. Because they may know somebody in Dallas. I said, you know, kind of circulate and talk to somebody. We was eating. And it was a couple. They walked by the table, they spoke to us. Mm -hmm. And they said, uh, so we asked, you know, where you from? Dallas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have a place to go. Mm -hmm. oh, my God. I thought, well, mm -hmm. I've been yeah. witnessing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. How he's bringing it. Mm -hmm. Just like the ark, everybody together. It just yeah. blew yeah. my mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so we started, you know, started telling him about the lady. You know, so uh, I think it was that Saturday. Yeah. That Sunday when I got there, I was looking for him, but I didn't see him. Mm -hmm. But then uh, Ken say she had, they said that they was in touch with Leonard from here. Mm -hmm. And that they was talking about mm -hmm. me. Right. So, you know, now I'm looking for Bernie to get <laughs> Leonard's number. Right. You know, but Ken had it. Uh -huh. So they was able, she was able mm -hmm. to, you know, get the lady's uh, information. Mm -hmm. And she's going to text her. And I'm like, wow, you see it. Mm -hmm. You see him operating. You just yeah. see it. Mm -hmm. In operation, that blew my mind. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I was like, wow, this is really something. Mm -hmm. uh, the gospel was preached. Mm -hmm. uh, I was sitting in my seat. They you know, did a very good job on uh, the law of the spirit versus, uh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and the distinction. And one speaker got up. And they said, for the law of the spirit of life that is in. Mm -hmm. And they emphasized in right. yeah. Joshua the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And he was like, bam, I was yeah. sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, uh, Joshua yeah. told me what started coming to me was prayer. Mm -hmm. What he says right. in prayer mm -hmm. in the textbook. Now I got my phone now because I got my textbook on the phone. And I'm thumbing through it because it just kept ringing in my ear as what came through you. Though the law of the Spirit is to those. I'm, I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, it's in prayer. Because yeah. yeah. now I'm sitting yeah. there, I got my phone out. And I'm just, yeah. you know, trying to find that. You know, I'm like, whoa. And that one little word. Yeah. Like, wow. This is really, you know, I'm sitting there about to. Come up out my seat. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. this is, thank you, guys. Right. I'm so, yeah. so thankful that yeah. one word. Yeah. And right. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa. It's a, the same spirit law. Yeah. yeah. But I want that. I want here that for you. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Here, as in all other cases, the action of the Holy Spirit on the soul of man is to him who understands that's right what the same spirit law of nature right. is to the things so called inanimate to the things that the, the planets don't mm -hmm. bump into each other right. somebody bought that out right. mm -hmm. from the floor they're not bumping into each other no. mm -hmm. go ahead and is the power mm -hmm. which harmonizes mm -hmm. the will. If it can keep the planets mm -hmm. intact, that's right. Then the law, the spirit of life mm -hmm. in Yahshua, the Messiah, mm -hmm. what was calling me? That's the Holy Spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. That is the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Will uh, the, uh, harmonize the will of the individual mm -hmm. action. Harmonizing with. our will. Right. And it was hidden behavior. Right. Yeah. yeah. Behavior. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. See. And one of the speakers said, you can't help but act right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, we don't need nobody to tell us mm -hmm. no more law or tell us how to act. Mm -hmm. You can't help because it's going to harmonize mm -hmm. our will mm -hmm. with his. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. With the universal will of Yahweh. With the universal mm -hmm. will of Yahweh. That's right. That's right. I'm sitting in my seat and I'm just, you know, just getting my phone out like I can find it. I'm like, first I'm looking in the natural man. I'm like, Joshua, I know I read this. I don't know where it is. Then I'm like, I know it's in volume three. 
They can't be praying. You look now, I'm looking. I'm like, oh wow, this is just beautiful. It's just oh, oh, I encourage it. You know, I, I, I'm thankful. Uh, prior to going down there, you know, because I paid for me and my son, you know, and I was sharing this with you, uh, man, uh, Sequita. Uh, you know, when it started, adding up to plane fares, you know, paying for this, then I had to pay for my luggage, and you had to have food uh, before we went. And uh, having a look at it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm out of some money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because yeah. you're getting that money together. And then I heard that voice say, now you see what it is for people to come here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's what he told me. Mm -hmm. Then he told me, he yeah. said, You're going to get a gospel. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I backed up then. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean, right. stop thinking about yeah. that. Right. Right. Just right. don't touch it. You right. know. Mm -hmm. So I backed up. And I got to show you how he operated. Because they hadn't called any overtime on us. So you know, I'm pinching, you know, money from here, putting it over here for, you know, the event. Yeah. He made a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after that, about two days later, I went to work and somebody walked up to me and said, you know you're working overtime, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so he makes a way. Yeah. Like you say, don't, you know, because the came from the floor about the murk, don't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm real thankful that I was able to go. I'm true, yeah. true. Truly thankful. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed all the vessels, you know, uh, that came up. I came up. I learned so much just in this little, you know. Uh, you know, I'm, I I want to just give all thanks to Yasha. I'm really, really thankful. Truly. Thank Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Son also may glorify thee. That's right, Ray. As thou hast given him power over all flesh. Now he gave, he's given the Son power over all flesh, Ray. That he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Now he's going to give you, he's going to give eternal life, how as many as thou hast given. Or in other words, 
Yahweh from the beginning knew who was going to receive his, his son's spirit, and he gave that to the son. Now, now the son also gives to us his spirit or his attributes or the law of spirit of life. Read. And this is life eternal. Now, this is life eternal. That they might know thee. Now, don't miss, don't miss this, right? The only true Elohim, mm -hmm. and Yahshua the Messiah, whom thou hast sent. Now, once you got this law of spirit of life in you, see, it's like this, this law right here. Just say hey, Moses brought the first command tables of stones. Just say like that was he one of them brought brought out how when he broke those first tables, that's like to them breaking Yahweh's heart. So but see, Israel didn't have nothing in them to behave right. They just had that I can't help it. And once you got that I can't help it, you like to do anything. Even though they saw the cloud around on top of Mount Sinai. They built this golden calf and was dancing and singing and giving all the praise and glory and honor to this golden calf. Now, that's breaking Yahweh's heart. Now, he's not pleased with that. It's just like you saying, well, I heard about Yahshua, but I'm still going to praise Jesus Christ. And, you know, and Jesus loved me and I love Jesus. Okay, you keep thinking that. That's like that golden calf. He go, he got fit you. But once the second, the, the, with the second tables of stones, he told Moses to hear, hear them out and bring up on top of Mount Sinai so he could write in them. And then they put it in the Ark of the Covenant. And, and remember, the cloud filled this temple or this Ark. So that's like him you know, to Yahshua putting his writing, just like you got to take, you got a heart. Mm -hmm. And just like Moses had to take that heart up so that Yahweh could write on it. You're doing the same thing with your heart. You're taking your heart up, and so Yahweh can write on it. And that's the law of the spirit of life. And then this put, that heart is put in the Ark of the Covenant, or in other words, now your, now your will is harmonized with the will of Yahweh. And since Yahweh filled the temple or the tabernacle, there's nothing getting in, and there's nothing getting out. So that's the stuff that I learned, and it's beautiful because I was just, <laughs> I was just, you know, listening to him. So you know, and I was just like, yeah. But one thing about what Terry brought out, and I just want to just make this plain and simple that how about the Sabbath, the how Adam was in the garden at rest, and Satan didn't come in the garden until after. The Sabbath, or after they was created, and now one thing about that angel being Satan in the garden, you can't. The way Terry Wills put that, it fit the pattern. And this angel can't be Satan overlooking their spine now, their neckiness and stuff like that. But the way how Terry um, analyzed it or put it down. It was so beautiful, I was just like, man, you know, I, I, I didn't realize that before, but because they was at rest, mm -hmm. and that's like unto a Sabbath, and, and then you go go around about a holy place, most holy place, just like with this tabernacle with Canaan's land, they rested after they took over that, they got their heritage, they had to rest, mm -hmm. just like Adam and Eve, this was their heritage, was the garden, but the, the true heritage is Yahshua and the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And they was resting in the garden, and Yahweh allowed Satan to come in mm -hmm. to do what they do what he's supposed to do. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just, I was just blown away, and I'm thankful that I learned a lot of things, and, you know, and it's just, you know, without, without this teaching, you know, we all, we just, we just don't deserve it. I mean, <laughs> just, we just, I mean, Yahshua and Messiah love us. I mean, that's some love. Just for him to preach the gospel to you, yeah. that's some love. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with love, man. Mm -hmm. That's that candlestick. He says, stand in, stand in the holy place. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to be sitting down here in the court roundabout because look at the migratory track. It's nothing but darkness. 
You got to be elevated. You got to be anointed so you can get the Holy Spirit. Then you got to be let in by Yahshua inside. Now you got light, you got bread, and you got an intercessor. And then when when the good times are getting going, it'll take you to the most holy place mm -hmm. so you can experience better things. And right. uh, that's the thing that we come down here for. We want to mm -hmm. eat that bread from heaven. And we want to go to the most holy place. So when once this thing be done, what you know, over where with class, and when it's time for us to go, you could just say hallelujah, you know. And and that's what I've been, you know, because I I told y'all when I said, you know, I said, you know, I want to experience this stuff, you know, and you know, I wanna I wanna live it. I wanna just walk in it and everything. You know, and he just said, uh, just stick around, you'll see. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, and I encourage every last one of y'all to stick around because yeah. Yeah. you'll see. Yeah. And you'll see hell. And that's the law of the spirit of life. Mm -hmm. And that's what's dwelling in a lot of us right now. Some of you probably do get it, some of you probably don't. And if you don't get it, all I could just tell you is just continue to come back to class. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So you can't get it. Because right. y'all wait. He sees the heart. I mean, he knows the heart. I don't know the heart. I don't know your heart. I mean, your heart could be full of just joy and happiness. Or it could be full of envy and hatred. And it could go any type of way, you know, especially if you're dealing with, you know, Satan, you know, coming in, tabernacling in you and stuff. So, I mean, but the true tabernacling is Yahshua and Messiah. In you and how he's gathering, mm -hmm. you know, so we all could be in that rest. Mm -hmm. So I ain't gonna take up your time, but I'm just gonna just say, just you know, continue to stay in class and go to these events and conventions because Dr. Kelly said if you go to these conventions, you might be sealed there. Mm -hmm. So, with those three words, hallelujah. 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 I really, 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 really enjoyed it. It was so nice. Oh, goodness. And it was so much stuff brought out. And um, But what I what I came away with was just like what, um, what Shaquita said, the urgency of just stop playing around. This thing is wrapping up. It's wrapping up quickly. And... Um, Yahshua has given us a, a time and he's uh, letting us know that we have to truly rely on on him. And um, uh, I, I, I had so much fun. Um, I, I, I really enjoyed the lectures. I, I met a few people. I didn't meet a lot of people, but I, I did meet um, a few people. And... Um, Yesterday, oh my goodness, we went to the beach, right? <laughs> and I don't swim, and I didn't have on a swimsuit. I had on some shorts, and um, John, Rhonda, Bernie, Lisa, me, we're in the middle of the water talking about the gospel. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Rhonda's gonna compile this list. She's gonna send it out about certain things that were said and uh, what Dr. Kenley said about yeah. those things and um, she's going to send that out uh, as soon as she gets all that information mm -hmm. but oh man um, mm -hmm. the law of the spirit and the law of the spirit of life and uh, spirit law right. and I, as I was sitting there and I mean just like what, what Gabby said and um, you know as far as the difference between the two. Now, I have read that um, that section on prayer. Mm -hmm. He always brings that out, um, mm -hmm. and I just thought that that was so profound. You know, mm -hmm. as far as the the law of the spirit mm -hmm. of life is to him that understands yeah. what the same spirit law of nature mm -hmm. is to him who understands what that is. Mm -hmm. It harmonizes our will. Mm -hmm with the will of the Creator. 
and that we have to truly know Yahshua the Messiah, who is a teacher, and that he has truly been resurrected or revealed. One of the vessels um, uh, was talking about uh, the, 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 the guy that was talking about the Zika virus when we were in that little thing. Um, okay. Joe, he was talking about Joe. Joe, Joe yeah. Joe, Joe, he was talking yeah. about um, how when you come into class, mm -hmm. and how um, how everybody that comes in here they sit, mm -hmm. they sit for a while, they hear, and how they don't all everybody don't have the Holy Spirit, but there is a period of time where just like this tabernacle and this temple, see, mm -hmm. and the analogies that he he used a, a bunch of different analogies. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know how everything was set in place. Mm -hmm. they were, everything was built, set in place, and then the cloud filled. Same way right. with, right. with right. the temple. Right. Everything was built, mm -hmm. set in place, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. Adam. Right. Right. He was formed, mm -hmm. placed in the garden, and then Elohim breathed into right. his nostrils, making him a living soul. Mm -hmm. So. Just for, we just have to stick around. That's yeah. the thing. This is the place to be. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to go off. And I got this letter. I'm gonna get a rose. Um, yeah. Uh, that I got from um, from Lenore, and it, it's just a letter to uh, encourage people um, that have been members and that dropped out. You know, if you know, to come back to class because I mean, time is just. It's short. It's short, and we have to take a more earnest heed to the things which we have taught. And this is the truth. And I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on out in the world. And I mean, like this thing that just happened. You know, everybody's looking at at the president as you know, as a bigot. <laughs> They're looking at him like that. You know, because he did not. Um, you know. He didn't react right, you know, to you know, to the things that happened. So, I mean, all that stuff was there anyway, you know. Right. Yahweh's exposing exactly. that. That's all it is. He's just exposing all of these things. So, um, it's. I'm gonna take my seat and let someone else get up. But this was oh, if you get a chance to go to any event now, Springfield's coming up. So um, if you have opportunity, Springfield's a drive. It's not a, mm -hmm. a flight. It's a drive. If you get an opportunity, mm -hmm. you should try to go, mm -hmm. okay? Because um, the gathering of the brethren, and yeah, Rodney did bring that out, you know, because there's some people from like PI DMR, they were there, uh, from Meridian, Mississippi, they yeah, were there. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. these are classes that, you know, they're like off the grid. Right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and she was saying, you know, we were eating breakfast, just talking about, well, you know, I was pulling all these people in, you know, because we, all of us got something that ain't right, you know. Yeah. Then when you hear various vessels, when you hear them talk, you know, mm -hmm, that ain't quite right. Yeah. You know, so he's bringing them in, you know, yeah. so that the yeah. things that, that we don't have right, you know, it can be fully explained. Yeah. We get together, we gather. It can be fully explained, yes. uh -huh. and yes. we can get straightened out, mm -hmm. get the thing mm -hmm. right, see, right. before it's eternally yeah. too late. Mm -hmm. right. So right. Um, I thought that was right. um, that statement right. was so profound because right. I saw that that was true, because you know Quincy, Quincy, Florida, you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> 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 really in Mississippi. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, but anyway. That's my testimony. Praise be to Yahshua. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Good evening, class. Good evening. I really, really enjoyed myself. I'm so thankful uh, that Yahweh put me in a position that I was able to go. And every time I go to one of these uh, events, to me, it's like being caught up in the third heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, remember Paul said he was caught up in the third heaven mm -hmm. and uh, saw things and heard things that weren't lawful mm -hmm. to be uttered, or man to utter? Mm -hmm. Well, 
It's the same thing when we go to these events because the things that we're taught, mankind, this is not commonly known, you know, by mankind, you know, and um, I had an opportunity to uh, sit and have some, just like Myra said, when you sit with the different brethren mm -hmm. and you're able to draw these things out much more clearly, you know, because uh, the topic was the law of the spirit, what is the law of the spirit of life? But just as one of the uh, previous vessels said, the law of the spirit of life you have to emphasize in Yahshua the Messiah, right. you know. Because just like we know that the tabernacle has three compartments, yes. is one operation, mm -hmm. but what's going on in the court round about is not the same that's going on in the uh, most holy place. It's the same thing with the difference between uh, universal spirit law. What uh, Paul talks about in the 17th chapter of Acts, mm -hmm. in him we live and move right. and have our being. See, that's universal spirit law, you know. But the law of spirit of life in Yahshua Messiah, I think it's uh, Romans 8 and 2. They brought that out a lot. Yeah. See, the law of the spirit of life in Yahshua the Messiah has made me free right. from the law of sin and death. So you see that there's a differentiation right there. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, it was just, it was really beautiful. And uh, Deborah was talking about that couple. And another thing, two things I was looking at, too, about that couple. The first thing is they're from Tech, they're from Dallas. Mm -hmm. But I was looking at how Yahweh was protecting them because they didn't even know that there was a class in Dallas. Mm -hmm. First of all. Right. They right. didn't even know that there was a class in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And the second thing right. is they found out about class from YouTube. Yeah. They mm -hmm. watching. They, they, watched, they stumbled on it. Yeah. They didn't yeah. nobody tell them about it. Yeah. They just kind of stumbled on a class. I didn't. I don't think we asked them which class they stumbled on or what they were looking at. But they found out about the classes on YouTube, YouTube and yeah. you know now the way that the YouTube is hooked up. All of the classes are linked. Mm -hmm. It's not like you click on one; it's just that class. Right. It'll link yeah. you to the other ones right. too. Yeah. You know, right. and it, it says that this gospel right. is going to go out right. throughout all the face of the earth. Now, yeah. that's a couple that had never been to a physical class yeah. mm -hmm. and only knew about class from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, look at how Yahweh yeah. was working this yeah. thing. Yeah. Just like what they were saying about Rhonda talking about gathering the men. Yeah. See, yeah. he said. That he didn't lose none. Right. He didn't lose none. Say the son of perdition. Mm -hmm. And it was a, a, a one speaker that was talking about, and see, some people can say, well, so-and-so said this and so-and-so said that. My mind ain't that good. So I can't, you know, but I know one speaker was talking about uh, visions, panoramic vision. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about that. That happens to us as we sit in these classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, and I, I didn't, I didn't, I knew that. Right. How she what she said, but I had never heard it explained right. the way that she said. Say we're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. We're having panoramic visions because as the speakers are going through the uh, the uh, migratory track and talking about Egypt, the woods of Canaan land, and the blood, water, spirit. You know, a panoramic means seen from different mm -hmm. angles. Right. So here we are sitting in these classes right. while the speakers are up here. You know, mm -hmm. preaching the same gospel: right. blood, water, spirit, yeah. forty, yeah. death, burial, resurrection, going to the line of testimony, right. Right. Joshua is showing you different things, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. know, from the same thing that's being taught. Right. The repetition, right. even right. though it's repetition, Joshua right. said, now you see that principle? Mm -hmm. You see that? And they were talking, they were liking unto that as we are having a panoramic vision as well. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just, I'm going to tell you, if you get an opportunity when these events come up, try if Yahweh allows it to go because it is nothing like it. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's, it's just so beautiful, you know? And I think, now I do remember it was Johan that was like yeah, yeah, uh, showing yeah. the law of the spirit in regards yeah, to a woman's immenses. Mm -hmm. And he put it on the ages in the dispensation yeah, chart. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about, in the beginning, you know, there's no law. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no law. Right. You see, and then when you go into puberty, yeah, right. you know, the floodgates open up and then you start, the woman right. has to start her menses. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's like into the law of Moses. Yeah. And then that goes until about 50. 
Right. And fifty is Pentecost. Mm -hmm. And I just said, wow, you know, even right. though I heard this before, mm -hmm. but it's like how different people have Yahweh's yeah. given them a different right. way to explain it. Yeah. And you see even more. Right. Right. You know, and it was just it was just yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. You know, and we had a chance to sit down with uh Joel. Joel. Yeah. Joel, Turner, Joel, 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 Turner. Yeah. Joel Turner, and also some of us had a, a chance to sit down and talk with uh, Rick Trevison also. Yeah. And it was just so, like, like what uh, Myra was saying, you know, explain that much more in detail. Mm -hmm. And it was just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's, you know, I'm, I'm just so glad that I had an opportunity. The speakers, I mean, the Holy Spirit, man, preach this gospel. Mm -hmm. And it was just wonderful. And I'm just so glad, just so glad that I had an opportunity to go. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and just as the previous speaker said, November is coming up, mm -hmm. and it's just a drive. It's not too far. Yeah. So I want to encourage you. Yeah. See, because everybody needs to experience this. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in this class, they need to experience right. this. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing like it. No. Nothing like it. You know, and I'm and I just, I, I'm going to digress for a moment. I uh, had two uh, singing jobs where I could make money that I turned down to go to this event, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, while I'm there, I pick up two more jobs. Yeah. I don't know if I told y'all that. Yeah, I, I picked up two more jobs. Mm -hmm. right. I'm like, Yash was just, see, it's just yeah. so wonderful. Yeah. 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 You know, seek ye first the kingdom yeah. and everything yeah. else yeah. will be added. Yeah, right. And I don't mean yeah. that everything going to always be added materially. Right. Yeah. You see, I'm talking about everything will be added. Your understanding yeah. right. is right. going to be that much more clearer yeah. in yeah. your patience, mm -hmm. possessing your soul. That's why, like Myra said, you got to keep coming. Yeah. You got to keep right. coming because... All of a sudden, things are going to start making sense. Mm -hmm. you, it's going to start opening up. Yeah. And Yahshua's going to be telling you stuff yeah. that the speaker ain't saying. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. It's right. beautiful, man. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> it is just so beautiful. Yes, right. And I'm just so thankful that I had an opportunity to go. And I'm just praising Yahshua. Um, I'll give my testimony, then I'll sit down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, I give my honor and glory to Yahshua and Messiah. And I was very edified, and I'm so happy I was uh, made to go and led to go and brought there. Um, what an experience. Hearing different vessels, how Yasha spoke through them. And what it really showed me that, I mean, I took notes. I mean, I could get up here and I actually, I don't take a lot of notes a lot of times. But this time I actually took notes. And I know I could get up here and tell you what different vessels said and if I could read my hand right. Um, but the one thing that really came home to me was that it's the preaching of the gospel mm -hmm. that gives you life. And throughout all the things that were said, and there was a lot of going back and forth. I'm going to be, I'm, in, in my mind, there was a lot of going back and forth of what is the law of the Spirit, yeah. and is it different than, I mean, I'm just, you know, this is what I saw. Is, is it different than the, the, than, than the Holy Spirit? Is it different than the Spirit of life? I did see that. Mm -hmm. So when one of the vessels got up and just, it was so simple. It was, it was, I think it was Sunday. The, it was a Jamaican lady. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spanish now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she brought it right back. Mm -hmm. And when she did that, I was able to sit back and say, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, because the way it was explained, listen, keep it simple. Yeah. The, you know, and, and it was simple. Because on that day, it was two vessels that got up there and kept it really simple. Yeah. Yeah. And it yeah. made it made my heart rejoice yeah. because yeah. the way yeah. she did it, she just said, "Look, preach the death, the burial, the resurrection of Yahshua Messiah, and that will make you alive." Yeah. See, that's the law. That's the spirit of life right there. Yeah. And when and when when she did that, I said, "Okay, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm okay now." Yeah. You know. Because, you know, we were looking at the, the, how creation was created yeah, yeah. and how that was created by the, by the law of the Spirit. Yeah. And, and it was like a couple things being said. Yeah. 
you know, mm -hmm. and then it started to come together within the conference mm -hmm. yeah. that people started, you know, saying, okay, more towards the, it's the law, it's, it's Yahshua the Messiah. Right. And when they started doing that, then I started to say, and I, 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 I'm, I have a better understanding of it, and I'm happy that I came, and I, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but I will say this to you guys. Uh, I did have the, ex the experience of getting on the airplane and traveling a lot of miles, a lot of hours, and I do now recognize and appreciate mm, yeah. that when vessels come to our event, yeah. it's a lot more than, you know, because all you do is yeah. just take your, you know, <laughs> get in your car and right. come here, you know. Yeah. 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 No, these people are hopping on planes. Yeah. 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 And they're going, like one vessel said, they're hopping on planes, they're going miles and miles, yeah. you know, yeah. just to hear the gospel being yeah. preached. Mm -hmm. You know, to a hot yeah. location. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, what are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you know yeah. there's someone with a car. What are you crazy? You going all the way out there to yeah. to a viral class? It's so hot out there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, and but it was the the desire to to, to, to be there. Yeah. You know, it, listen, it's the same desire to come to class. You gotta have some desire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you, you gotta have some desire, you know. Sure. And it starts by coming to class. Mm -hmm. All right, and he will increase that desire. So I want to just encourage you to 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 come to class because it's mm -hmm. you know, I think we all saw the seriousness mm -hmm. of um, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen. Like mm -hmm. somebody said that you don't know uh, if you're gonna be able to gather. Right. You're going to be able to meet, right. you know, uh, and you have to have this stuff in your house, yeah. you know, in, right. in your own tabernacle, right. you know. It's hard not to look at the flesh, but we have to stop looking at the flesh, yeah. and we have to listen to the words, right. you know, and get ask Yahshua to speak to you, yeah. you know, and to ask Yahshua to lead and guide you. Yeah. You know, he's not going to lose, he's not going to lose somebody. Right. He won't, he won't, he's not. You know, he, 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 he will not, if you're supposed to, he will not lose you. That's right. You know, he's not like, you know, you you see somebody, they, I lost my dog, and then it's on the post or something like that. <laughs> it's just not like that. He, he hasn't lost nobody. You don't have to put out a, you know, no. You know, he, when it's time for you to come, you, you will come. Why am I saying that? Because I just, you know, you're always learning. Mm -hmm. And hopefully coming to an understanding. You know, you don't, you don't have it all now, you know, and don't think that you do. But think that you can learn, you know, and then you, your heart is open, you know. So uh, if you can make it in November, try to make it. But I'm going to emphasize this. You need to come to class. You know, I think we're going to start emphasizing that a little bit more. You know, you need to come to class. I don't want to. I, I don't like getting up trying to make somebody feel bad, but I, I think that uh, if you get that opportunity to come to class, come to class. Everybody got a hard. Everybody got a hard life. It's just hard down here. Yeah. You know, you got kids. You got jobs. We got this letter that uh, we're gonna. You know, it's. But the problem is, you got you got a husband. You got a wife. You got. You got all these obstacles that are standing in the way that want to want to stop us from coming to class, mm -hmm. you know. And you just have to ask Joshua to, to, to move some of those things out the way, mm -hmm. you know. Anybody telling you to stop loving somebody, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, you know, quit your job. You know, right. ain't stupid, you know. Ain't nobody telling you to stop. But to see the importance, mm -hmm. a little bit more importance to this teaching, because this teaching will give you life, you know, and everything else is just going to fall by the wayside. It seems so important, but it will fall by the wayside. All right, so we got to set up with no step here, and I'm not. Um, so I looked at my thing and uh, my attendance sheet, and I saw May's name on there. So what? Get up here. I am also serious why she's walking up here. The aim of this school is to raise up ministers, yeah. all right? And that's what this is, is to raise up ministers so that everybody's not getting up all the time. Right. You know, at one point we did a two, we, we, we had a three speaker format. Mm -hmm. And then we stopped and we started doing a two speaker format. Do you know why? Because we, people wouldn't get up. Mm -hmm. So if we did two, we could stretch it out more. 
And then, so, you know, I just want to encourage you guys to, to look, to preach, you know, to, to study. Because mm -hmm. so, we want to put you up on this floor, mm -hmm. all right? I know, who I, I know who I'm thinking about, and I know who I'm looking at. And, and why am I doing this? I'm, I'm basically looking at these three people right here, you know, and her. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy to sleep as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. Um, but it doesn't really matter if I'm putting you on the spot. Because if you know me, all you got to do is just say, I don't want to get up. That's all you got to do. But we do want you to give a test. You should have a reasonable testimony. You know, just get up and say, Hallelujah! And sit down. I give a testimony. Okay, well, come on. I also have one, too, but I will wait. Yeah. And, and some of us get up all the time. Yeah. So we're going to let the other ones get up. That's why I was going to sit down. Yeah. We want the other ones to get up, you know. I'm just here to you, so you get to make it to the point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just getting myself out of the way. So oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, that's a hard thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I didn't go to um, Florida, <laughs> but I will be at uh, Ohio in November. But I, I, I had a uh, short testimony. Um, we had had a skeleton crew, as everybody's in Florida, mm -hmm. Thursday and Sunday, <laughs> which was very good. Uh, Rose, Patrick, and Baron, and Casey, and me, and my two kids. But oh my God, I got so much out of it. Um, Sunday, you know, I had, um, uh, I, I tell you, the Holy Spirit, He really, he really works. Um, and I forgot what is it? He's omnipresent. Mm -hmm. So even though he was with the brethren in, in Florida, he was yeah. also here mm -hmm. <laughs> with the brethren here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was, you know, praying because I, you know, the whole thing about the uh, the eclipse. Um, you know, everybody's going crazy. Oh, it's solely crystal. And I actually, I, I, yeah, I'm like, well, what does that mean? What you know? I know it has to have some type of um, relevance as far as the spiritual. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had just asked him that Thursday or Friday. And why I think Baron got on the floor and it came from Baron. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to lie, Sunday I was like really dozing off of back there. But then Baron, uh, he was like talking about the solar eclipse and something said, wake up. <laughs> and I just, you know, I, I, I you know, I kind of jumped in my seat, and then he was going over the solar eclipse, and how the, you know it's when the sun and the moon and the planet like they line up. But the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon, and you know, and it casts a darkness on the world when the the moon, you know, gets in place. But that's likened to the uh, the. Um, that carnal mind, that, that darkness that the carnal mind is in. And you know, you have to, like Romans 1, 19 and 20, you have to have some type of physical manifestation to understand the spiritual. Mm -hmm. So that be likened to, well, you know, once you, you're in darkness, that carnal mind is in darkness. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like you said, you know, with the soul eclipse, like they were saying, I think it's happening on August 26th, um, and if you stare, if you look at it too long, yeah. it'll damage your sight. I mean, you can possibly, if you detrimental to your health, you can possibly go blind. But that's like that man being in darkness all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you stay in darkness too long, it's going to be detrimental to your soul. So you have to come out of that. And it's like, you know, it's like the common man, like, and there's a lot of people down here having a soul eclipse, and it's, still, it's in the total of, you know, they can't see. Um, the conscious have, you know, they're they're blinded, and 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 I'm like, oh my, I was just so happy because I got my answer so fast. <laughs> you know, I prayed and gave you my answer. So uh, like uh, Myra was saying, you know, this thing is really wrapping up because normally when I I I, I you know I ask. You know, you might not, he might not, you might not get your answer till later. He always answers you. I'll say that. He always answers you. But now it's like, you know, when I, I go, you know, I pray, and it's like he's answering me right away. Mm -hmm. So that's how I know we're really in the, you know, the last 
days of time. Mm -hmm. and, and, and now, you know, like they said, you know, um, and and that, that bad boy, he's out there. I mean, he really comes from you. And mm -hmm. one of the speakers, I forgot who it was, but it came to one of the speakers, you know, and I think that is, um, what's that? I think it's Proverbs 29, 18, if they, don't, if they don't speak by the law and the prophet, that's because they don't speak life. according to this word, there's no life. Yeah, and if I can get that read, because I tell you, I have, and he comes at you like they say, he's never, he never sleeps, he's always on a job, you know, he's he's the perfect employee. Because I tell you, I went to the mall, this was a couple of, couple of weeks back, I'm walking through the mall, man of my own business, wasn't thinking, you know, blah, just off in Wonderland, just looking. And so a girl stops me, nobody else, two girls, stop, young girls, look like they're in their early 20s. And they was like, do you know who God is or his true name? So right away, I'm like, yeah, his name is Yahweh Yasha Elohim. She's like, oh my God, you know the true name. She was like, um, well, what teaching are you in? And I was, I'm like, well, I'm not a Christian or anything. She was like, man, she was like, well, because yeah, we go to the Academy of Elohim, so at this point, I'm really perking up, because nobody comes out of the blue and, and comes at you like that. But then she was going on and on and on, and um, then she starts talking about, because she had the creator, um, she, the whole point is, was that they were looking for a female God, okay? She, then she, she was, now she was quoting scriptures, because we're made in the likeness and the image of of our creator. I'm like, well, yeah, we are. And I'm like, well, do you know how? And she was like, yeah, because, you know, we have these, it was just all female traits. Because what she was trying to say is the female God was coming back for the female. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, now I know this is way off to what I thought it was. Because then she was like, yeah, because he, he's come, and I said, well, I got news for you. He didn't already came. And I was like, and if you don't know the truth, you're going to miss him again. She was like, no, he, yeah, you're right. He came already in 1948 oh, <laughs> to Israel. He destroyed Israel. But don't worry. He's going to restore it back again. Then she went over to Jerusalem above. I said, but Jerusalem above is, I don't know where it's at, but Jerusalem above is mm -hmm. talking about that spiritual Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's, uh, um, what? It's our, it's well, never did get tore down, but he's talking about the spiritual truth. She was like, no, 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 you're going to miss him. her. You're going to miss her. And I'm and thinking to myself, oh, my God. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, well, we're all, and I, you know, I told her, Jeremiah 30, 31, it says, although I was a husband in Israel, I'm like, well, we're all his bride, male and female. No, 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 no. That's why you got, you know, breasts and all that. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, then, well, then, what, does, what does that lead to me in? So, you know, you have to really, and I see now, you do have to be, but I'm glad Yahweh is always rich. You mm -hmm. always have to be. When was this? I'm, I'm just curious. What day was that? This was a couple of weeks ago. I was at the mall. Yeah, okay. I was a lot of gagging at the mall. But you have to really be like, I am so glad I'm in this teaching. I'm so glad, you know, I know the truth. Mm -hmm. Because, like they said, if they're not speaking about a law and a prophet, you can really be thrown. And I think it came out of Baron. They know this name. Right. They know it. She said, yeah, that is his true name. Mm. They know this name, but they don't understand what Yahweh is. They don't They don't have the right doctrine. Mm. So you can, someone can easily deceive you. And I think, you know, it says that um, the devil, um, um, you know, he seeks to, you know, uh, you know, he, he, he sold you to the, the false prophets, yeah. Many false prophets will come in my name, that's the one. Many false prophets will come in my name. And, and so I am so glad that, you know, like I said, that I am in the right teaching. Otherwise, because she would have got me just by knowing his correct name. But the foolishness that came out of it, and I'm pretty sure, oh, it's a whole bunch of us, I'm thinking about that, I'm sure it is, but the foolishness that you can get caught up in this, and because they, they can't, I said, well, I'm saying, I said, honey, you have a, I'm like, you gotta get past the flesh. There's no female God coming with female traits. He's both male, female within himself. She was like, yeah, that's right, but it's still a female guy. Anyhow, but, I am, like I said, I am so glad, and actually came to May ask another one of my questions. I'm so excited about the uh, the woman, Mr. Uh, you know, 
woman's menstrual period, and you know, with the um, there's no law. I'm sorry, there's no law until you hit puberty, and then once you hit puberty, and um, then you know, it's that 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 law coming down. Then once you hit 50, which is Pentecost, which is a jubilee. So that just answered that. That was another question because women, you know, it's like, oh my god, why the heck? And I just asked, why the heck? <laughs> you know. <laughs> then it comes up with the cramping and all of that. But the jubilee, you know, uh, the jubilee, you're free. Right. You don't have to worry about that. You know, you're, you're free. That 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 you're you're you're, you're free from all that and and that pain and discomfort and all of that. You're free. So now I can see. Uh, 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 you know, I can see so much stuff now, and, and, and he's answering my questions so fast, and I was just so happy about that. I don't have to wait and all that, so I just wanted to say that, and hallelujah. 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 No. I'll give it to me. Mm -hmm. But you can't make it. Uh, that, that, we never know. Dr. Macon. Mm -hmm. Good evening, class. Good evening. I am I am thankful every time uh, Yahweh Ellen and his son Yashu Messiah puts it in my heart to come to class. Because um, we got back um, I had one day of rest before it's time to go back to the treasure city exactly. to continue to build those uh you know the treasure city for pharaoh which is called j-o-b for work and um you know i work two jobs so i rarely get a day off so it's like this could have been a free day if i would have just stayed home and not come to class and in my mind it's like I wanted to come to class, but I was tired. You all know the drill. Mm -hmm. But I'm just glad, and I thought about it. Uh, somebody just said off the floor of the event that Yahweh draws you here against your own will. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that he does that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, it's interesting what, um, when DeAndre was up here, she was talking about you know questions that she had in her mind. When I was at the event, I had a question in my mind. If somebody can get... Um, where uh, Yahshua is washing uh, the disciples' feet. Mm -hmm. And particularly, I want the part where he says, I'm doing this as an example, as I wash your feet, you wash each other's feet, or whatever. If somebody can get that section, give me a little a train of thought. Uh, because this is a question that I had in my mind. I hadn't shared it with anyone. And it had been, a, see, one thing about it, that uh, if, when you're in this gospel, and, um, you're, you know, you're studying and you're trying to learn more, you know, about the purpose and plan of Yahweh, and you have a question. You can't try to force the answer of the question, because if you try to force the answer of the question, then it's going to be your own imagination or your own, you know, take on it, and opposed to waiting on Yahweh to give you the answer to the question. Because sometimes I'll have a question, and I really want to know the answer right then. You know, but Yahshua showed me through experience, because I've been around here a little while, through experience that when you get to that point, you just have to let it go. And you just have to wait on him. And sometimes he might answer you right away, and sometimes he may not. But as DeAndre said, he's going to answer you. But it's going to be at his time, and it's always the right time. So if somebody can give me that, that scripture. where he's washing uh, the disciples' feet. Because we know that Peter, he was always a rebel. And he was saying, you know, because remember when uh, when they came to get Yash, when he cut off the, uh, the soldier's ear, and, you know, and Yash was saying, no, oh, we ain't fighting that way. We ain't fighting with swords. You know, and then he said, well, you washing my feet. You know, you created heaven and earth. You know, I don't deserve for you to wash my feet. And then Yash would say, if I don't wash your feet, you know, and then somebody, I think it was Ronnie Brazil, was talking about what's under the feet, the soul. Right. So your feet, and I think, um, 
Yoha was talking about that too, about the soul and then the heel. Right. Yo what I said, Johan? Yeah. See, I, know, I, I know a brother named Johan, so I guess I just, you know, a Ro, R, Rohan. Okay. He was also talking about the, the uh, under your foot is your uh, soul, right. and in the back of your foot is your heel. heel right. See, he heals the soul. Right. See, Joshua just puts it all together, man. Yeah. You know, but go ahead. John 13, outside. Uh -huh. Then cometh to Simon. Then cometh he to Simon Peter. Uh -huh. No, I'll start at five. Okay. Four. He rises from supper and laid aside his garments, and he took a towel and girded himself. Uh -huh. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' uh -huh. feet uh -huh. and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he were girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter. Yeah. And Peter so he washed uh, the disciples' feet, and then he's getting to Peter. Mm -hmm. And Peter unto and Peter said unto him, Master, dost thou wash my feet? Mm -hmm. Yahshua answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now. Okay. Now we write in the Bible the word of truth. Now this is happening in the post diluvian age. Right. See, this is an age that's different than the age that we're in. Right. We're in the present kingdom age. But what we're reading about is the post age prior to the Holy Spirit being poured out mm -hmm. and the death, burial, and resurrection, okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. But thou shalt know hereafter. Mm -hmm. Peter saith unto him, mm -hmm. Thou shalt never wash my feet. Mm -hmm. Yahshua answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Mm -hmm. He said, Sorry. If I don't wash your feet, mm -hmm. see, or cleanse your soul. That's really what it's right. pointing up to. Right. Mm -hmm. See, say, cleanse your soul. If I don't right. wash your feet. Mm -hmm. See, we had to come down here to find out what that meant. See? Right. He said, if I don't wash your feet right. or cleanse your soul, right. you can't have no part right. with me. Right. Go ahead. Simon Peter said unto him, mm -hmm. Master, not my feet only, mm -hmm. but also my hands and my head. He said, not only my feet, but my hands and my head. And we know the hands... It's synonymous with understanding. He said he laid not his hands, right? And then Joshua dwells in the hearts and minds of men. You see what I'm saying? That's like unto the most holy place. So it's principles in all of this stuff, see? So go ahead and continue to read. Joshua said to him, He that is washed needed not save to wash his feet, mm -hmm. but he is clean every whit. Mm -hmm. And ye are clean, but not all. Okay. For he knew. See, because there was somebody among them that was supposed to uh, betray him. Mm -hmm. But that was set up all the way from before the foundation mm -hmm. of the world in order for the purpose of Yahweh to be completed and fulfilled right. in Yahshua Messiah. That had to happen. Mm -hmm. See, it looks like he was doing a bad thing, but according to the purpose, it had to be done. Mm -hmm. See, go ahead. For he knew who should betray him. Mm -hmm. Therefore said he, mm -hmm. ye are not all clean. Okay. So so after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and mm -hmm. was set down again, mm -hmm. he said unto him, mm -hmm. Know ye what I have done to you? Of course they don't. You know, Holy Spirit had been pulled out yet. Okay, go ahead. Ye call me Master and Rabbi, mm -hmm. and ye say well. For so I am. Mm -hmm. If I then, your master, I, I'm not sure. If I then, your Elohim and master, have washed your feet, yes. ye also ought to wash one another's feet. See, so we know that if you take that literal, you think, right. okay, well, he washed their feet. See, it's like how they say, well, they think that he's setting up a Christian example. Mm -hmm. So he said, now if I washed your feet, mm -hmm. then you wash each other's feet. Right. See, he's talking about the cleansing of the soul. Mm -hmm. See, through the preaching of the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. And for years, I said, now why is he right. saying that, that you should wash each other's feet? Mm -hmm. And Rhonda Brazil brought it out yeah. beautifully. Mm -hmm. See, washing each other's feet is through the preaching of the gospel. Mm -hmm. See, because Pentecost is going to be poured out. Mm -hmm. See, and just like uh, Myra gave a perfect example when she was talking about her and a couple of other brethren were standing in the middle of the water, water right. and they was preaching the gospel. Guess what they were doing? They were washing each other's feet. Right, right. See, right. the soul. Yes, right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Cleansing the soul right. through the preaching of the gospel. Right. And that's what that means. And I, I wanted to bring that out because, DeAndre, that was a question I had, and I had it for some years. <laughs> but Joshua answered it. You see what I'm saying? And I was just so grateful. Because that 
just blew me away because I'm like, I wonder what he mean by that. Mm-hmm. It, it, I, it, I didn't know what it right, meant, right. you know. But this is a school, and we're students, and he's the teacher. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's basically uh, all to that. Yeah. Okay. So um, I want to share a little bit because when, when I went to an event, I was asking Yashua, I said, okay, Yashua, the law, what is the law of the spirit of life? I knew that, you know, Yashua decided through his death, burial, and resurrection, you know, he brought in a new and living way, you see what I'm saying, and uh, cleansed us of that carnal mind and also cleansed us of all of these, you know, ordinances and uh, law because he came in to fulfill everything, you see what I'm saying? But, you know, at the event, you know, I got a better understanding because I basically, I just knew that part, but I, I really didn't. You know, and he told me, he said, now go to get um, death rain from Adam to Moses. See, because he said, now go there. He said, because death rain, see, from Adam to Moses. And when Yahshua Messiah came in, the law of Moses was still in effect, see. Right, right. So the law of the spirit of life, because remember, Yahweh has a purpose, mm-hmm. a pattern, and a plan, mm-hmm. see. And the law of the spirit of life in Yahshua Messiah had not occurred yet. It had not occurred yet, right. see. Because it says death mm-hmm. rain from Adam and Moses. We know we can't have death and life at the same time, just like you can't have two spirits in the body. Right. Right. See? Right. So if somebody can get that scripture right. for me, where it says death rain from Adam and Moses, and also get the scripture uh, where it talks about uh, Yashim Messiah, you a new creature, old things pass away. Get those two scriptures for me. And then also I want somebody else to uh, get uh, Romans 8 chapter. Let's start with uh, death rain from Adam Moses first. And tell me where that is. Now I'm trying to remember where the scriptures are. <laughs> where is it? Huh? Romans 5.14. Okay, Romans 5.14. That's with death rain. Okay. Go ahead and read that. Nevertheless, death reigned from mm-hmm. Adam to Moses. Now I said death reigned from Adam to Moses. See, here again, that's in the post the movie notes. Death reigned from Adam to all the way to Moses, see. Mm-hmm. And we know that Yahshua Messiah, he came in in the post diluvian age, and the law of Moses was still in effect. Mm-hmm. But he said, even though there was no law given in the antediluvian age, that death still reigned. Right. You see, because we know that uh, uh, from the transgression in the garden, mankind lost his oneness, so he was alienated from his creator, see. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. Even over them that have not sinned. See, even though, even though those people that weren't involved in that particular transgression, see, even over them that had not seen after the similitude, go ahead. After the likeness of Adam's transgression. See, after the likeness of Adam's transgression. Mm-hmm. Who is a figure of him that was to come. See, so Adam was a figure of him that was to come, see, because we know that Adam willingly died for his bride. See, just like Yahshua Messiah, when he came in, he willingly died for his bride, which is mankind. Because, see, we are the woman. When we deal with spiritual principles, see, mankind, we all the woman. Right. There's only one man, and that is Joshua the Messiah. Okay, go ahead. But not as the, not as the trespass, mm-hmm. so also as the free gift. So also as the free gift. And somebody get the scripture where it says, uh, the first man, Adam, was, uh, get that too. So, okay, that's good enough for that. Okay. Now, the second uh, one I asked for, what was the other ones? Did anybody get the argument? Mm-hmm. Repeat that again. Girl, I'm, 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 I
see, and the prophets. Okay, go ahead. And so it is written, mm -hmm. the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. See, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, but see, he lost that state through that transgression, willingly dying for his bride, see, because right. see, he overstepped the law. We know that uh, what is the sin is the transgression of the law. Mm -hmm. See, that's in the book. That's the definition of sin, is the transgression of the law. And he transgressed the law, willingly dying for his bride, see, but he was made a living soul. But once he made that transgression, see, and willingly died for his bride, he was no longer a living soul. He was a dead soul, see. So the first man, he was made a living soul. Read. The first, does it say the first Adam? The first man, Adam, was, uh -huh. was made a living soul. Okay. The last Adam. Was now they say, now see, we didn't know coming down here, that there's, until we came down here, two Adams. Mm -hmm. It say the first right. man, Adam, was made a living soul. And then read. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. See, it says the last Adam, see, talking about Yahshua the Messiah, see. The last Adam, he was made a quickening spirit. And in some scriptures it says a life-giving spirit. Right. Well, what kind of life is right. that? See, right. the, love, uh, the law of sin and death, being freed from the law of sin and death, and the law of the spirit of life, which is in Yahshua the Messiah. See, he's a life giving spirit, see. But that life giving is eternal life. Uh, uh, Gabby, you got the paper, right? Uh, uh, yeah, because that first paragraph, because remember last night we were talking about that on the plane. It blew me away. I want you to read, uh, what's the born of a woman, right? Isn't that the yeah. name of the paper? I want you to read the first two paragraphs because he makes a distinction there. And then we'll continue with the other uh, scriptures we call. Can you read it? This is this is uh, the Kenley paper, Born of a Woman. Okay, this is Born of a Woman mm -hmm. by Dr. H. C. Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, okay, now Dr. Kelly. Now he was talking about a man born of a woman. Uh huh. See the difference be the difference between being born of a woman and being born of yeah of God. See now he's talking about the difference between born of a woman and see being born of the Spirit. See, go ahead. The facts in the case are these. Mm -hmm. The man that's born of a woman, mm -hmm. which is the physical man. Right, that's just the physical, literal, natural man, born of a woman. Go ahead. He doesn't have but a few days. See, he don't have but a few days. Absolutely. Go ahead. And he See, in other words, he's not living forever. Mm -hmm. See, he just has a few days. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And he comes forth just like a flower of the grass. Mm -hmm. Stoop and full of trouble. Yeah, full of trouble. You know, we have a lot of troubles and a lot of woes in this life. Right. Go ahead. Dr. Kelly, that's right. Mm -hmm. And he's full of trouble. Mm -hmm. He's full of trouble them few days that yep, he them is few days. Yeah. The few days that he's on the earth plane is full of trouble. Always some problem. One in and here come another. Always some problem. Go ahead. But the man of God has eternal life. See, now he's making a distinction, see. The man born of Yahweh Elohim, or born of the Spirit, see. He has what? Eternal life. See, he has eternal life. See, he don't have a few days like the man born of a woman. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He has eternal life. Right. right. Abiding within him. See, abiding within him. See, that's the law of the Spirit of life that's in Yahshua the Messiah, see, because what did we just read? That Yahshua, the second man, Adam, yeah. was made a life-giving right. spirit. Right. See, so you born after Yahshua the Messiah, right. see, or born after the spirit, right. you ain't going to have, it ain't going to be like born of a man having a few days with troubles. Right. See, you right. born of the right. spirit, you're going to have eternal right. life. And read that last part again. Okay. Um. But the, but the man born of God has mm -hmm. eternal life see, abiding within him. He, the eternal life, see, that's the that thing. And that's the mystery. Mm -hmm. It's in you. That's what see, you don't have to go and work up on it. That's what you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You ain't got to go seeking it nowhere because it's in, it's in you. That's go ahead. Okay. Do you understand the difference between the man born of a woman mm -hmm. and the man born of God? See, so he's telling you, do you understand? There's a difference. See... There's a difference between the man born of a woman and born of the Spirit. See, go ahead. The man born of a woman, 
he can't see the kingdom of God. See, he can't see. See, right. do, don't we see all the time that Satan is the God of this world? Mm -hmm. And one of the speakers brought out at the event that Satan cannot understand, nor can he see anything spiritual. Right. right. See, and that, and the, read that last part again. And, okay. Uh, the man born of a woman. See, the man born of a woman, the natural, literal man born right. of a woman. Right. He can't see the kingdom of Yahweh. See, he can't see the kingdom right. of Yahweh. All these different belief systems in the world. Right. You see what I'm saying? He can't see it. Right. You right. know, and if it wasn't for the vision that was given to Dr. Henry Clifford Kelly at the very end of this age that we're in, see, getting ready to be ushered out of, right. we wouldn't see it either. Yeah. Go ahead. But the man born of God, mm -hmm. he can see the kingdom of God. See, but man born of the Spirit, see, he can see. See, remember it says when Yahshua Messiah was on that cross, the veil of the temple is rent and twain from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. See, the man is born of God or born of Yahweh Elohim, the Spirit, see, which is in Yahshua Messiah. See, he can see into the kingdom. See, go ahead. You want me to insert the true name? Huh? You want me to insert the true name? You can, you want to. Go ahead. Okay. Yahshua said to him, marvel mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. The difference was so great. Mm -hmm. Yahshua said to him. See, that difference, a born of a woman and born of Yahshua, born of the spirit, that law of the spirit of life in Yahshua Messiah was so great mm -hmm. that he said, what? Marvel not. Mm -hmm. But I say unto you. Yes. You must be born and again. And he told Nicodemus that. You must be born again. Right. See, you're born natural right. from the loins of a woman. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? A man born of a woman. Yeah. You born natural, but you have to be born again. That's you have right. to be born spiritually That's so. Right. See, and that way, you can see right. into the kingdom of Yahweh. Right. You see what I'm saying? And it's only... Through the Son, Yahshua the Messiah, right, see. Right, right. And guess what? The way that you're born naturally and the way that you're born spiritually in right. principle, it's the same. Yeah. It's blood, right. yeah. water, That's it. and spirit. It's the same. Right. From a natural standpoint, women, y'all, y'all mamas, mm -hmm. I'm a mama, I know. Y'all, none of y'all know, I know. No. I'm a mama. <laughs> you know, you have a short blood, right? Yes. Yeah. Then what they say, oh, my water done broke. broke. Right. And then the baby takes in the spirit of yeah. life yeah, that's right. from a physical standpoint. It's the same thing. Exactly. See, through the death, yes. burial, yes. resurrection, yes. Yashem aside, that blood, right. water, spirit, blood, water, spirit, 40. Yes. Blood, water, spirit, 40. A, a woman is pregnant for a normal pregnancy is nine months or 40 weeks. Mm -hmm. So you have that blood, water, spirit principle. We go over it over and over in every class. How can you deny that? Right. You deny your very existence. Right. It's the same way. Through the blood, water, and spirit, through the preaching, the foolishness of yeah. preaching the gospel, yeah. you can be born again. A born spiritually so. See, through the spirit of life, through Yahshua the Messiah, the law of the spirit of life dictates that. You have to do blood, water, and spirit. If you don't do that, there's no way. See, that's how we came in naturally. Isn't it? Boy, I tell you. Ain't it beautiful yeah. how Yahshua set it up that yes. way? Yes. He set it up that way. The same way you came in yeah. from a physical standpoint mm -hmm. right. is the same way you got to come in from a spiritual standpoint. Right. Blood, water, spirit. Right. 40. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we go through all of these uh, principles, right. through all of these charts, mm -hmm. and in every single one of them, you're going to see a blood, water, and spirit yeah. principle. Mm -hmm. In every story, you're going to be able to see it, see mm -hmm. That's his ID. That's right. mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's his ID. Mm -hmm. That's how you're able to see, point them out. That's yeah. right. See? And we wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for the vision. The revelation was given to Dr. Henry Clifford Kenley. See, Yahweh's merciful. Mm -hmm. See, he had some creatures at the end of this age gleaning the field. Mm -hmm. yeah. He had some creatures that were his. That's and just like one of the previous speakers said, it was brought out this weekend, he has not lost any. That's right. So if you're his, right. if he's revealing himself to you, mm -hmm. you're his. Because he ain't revealing himself to the world. That's right. That's right. And if you're his, 
You're not going, you ain't going to be lost. That's right. But that old boy going to make you think that yeah. you're going to be lost. He's going to say, ah, oh, how you know you had a smoke of spirit? Look at you, you acting a fool. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be acting like that. Look right. at you, you depressed. Look right. at you, right. you down. Mm -hmm. Look at you, you ain't having a good day. Right. Why ain't you happy? Oh, could it be that you don't have the Holy Spirit? Right. I mean, that's how you do. Mm -hmm. That's how he does. That's right. That's but you got to understand he's supposed to do that. That's, right. that's his MO. That's, that's his right. mode of operation. Mm -hmm. And as long as you got on a physical body, mm -hmm. he's going to continue to do it. That's right. But the thing is, we have to learn both mysteries. We got two mysteries that's in operation. The right. mystery of righteousness mm -hmm. and the mystery of iniquity. Right. See, and we've got to understand and learn both mysteries and how they operate. Right. So through the spirit of life, which is in Yahshua Messiah, you can recognize. See, when that old boy pop up, see, mm -hmm. Yahshua gives you the power of discernment. Mm -hmm. Don't mean it's going to be a walk in the park, mm -hmm. but while you're going through it, you're going through it with an understanding. And you know, just like the high priest, yes. he had to go through those steps, see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was every year, you see, over and over, some daily and yearly, see, he had to go through those steps. And see, we have to do the same thing. See, when we know there is a death, a burial, you know, you you in it, and you buried in it. But you know what's coming up next? You're going to come out. It's a resurrection. See, because the law does not change. See, and that's how Yahweh set it up. Yahweh say, I am Yahweh and I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. See, he has an operation. We have to understand the operation. See, learn the operation. And it's, it never gets exhausted. Never. It never gets exhausted. See, Is that all to that? That's basically it for that. Uh, did somebody get Romans? Did I have anything else besides Romans 8 chapter? Did they have anything else else? Oh, yes. Yes, those two. Because I heard the bell, so we got about maybe four minutes. Okay. Yes. You can start at one. There is therefore now. So now this is uh, Paul talking, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is in this age, the same one we're in now. But it's the beginning of this age. So he's saying there is therefore, therefore now. What does he mean now? He's talking about after the death, burial, the resurrection of Yahshua Messiah, and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. See, because that ushered in this age that we're in. Yeah. And he's speaking this in the beginning of this same age that we're in. We're at the end of it. But he's speaking this in the beginning of it. So there's therefore now. No condemnation. Mm -hmm. See, there's no condemnation. To them which are in Yahshua the Messiah. See, to them that are in Yahshua the Messiah. See, because see, if it was just that simple, he said there, there's therefore now no condemnation. But he makes a distinction. Mm -hmm. He says there's therefore no condemnation to them that are in Yahshua the Messiah. Continue. Mm -hmm. Who walk not after the flesh. See, because we're not walking after the flesh anymore. See, our our main concern is to be right in the eyes of Yahweh. Right. See, through his son, Yahshua Messiah. See, that's our main concern. Sure, we go to work and, you know, we do whatever we have to do in our daily lives. But our main focus is on Yahshua Messiah and this gospel. See, go ahead. But after the spirit. See, not walking after the flesh, but after the spirit. There's no condemnation in that. See, but then what the adversary do, he'll take natural, literal things and try to get you to be condemned about that. Mm -hmm. See, because that's all he sees right. is physical, material, natural things. Mm -hmm. So he tried to put condemnation and try to flip it right. and make that mean that you condemn the spirit. No. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. But that's that fine tuning. And in time, as we continue, Yahshua will give you the ability mm -hmm. to be able to see that. Mm -hmm. It's like the Emperor's New Clothes. Anybody uh, ever yeah. know the story of the Emperor's New Clothes? Yes. He walking down, honey. They didn't, they didn't con him and thinking they gave him some clothes. He walking down there naked as a gay bird. Thinking he, thinking he looking good. Yeah. See, and that's how the satanic spirit will be in your heart. Once the Yashua Messiah reveals him and points him out, he going to think he's doing something. He ain't doing nothing because you see him. You see him as he really is. Okay? Go ahead. For the law of the spirit of life mm -hmm. in Yahshua the Messiah. See, the law of the spirit of life in Yahshua the Messiah, the resurrected Yahshua Messiah. Right. After pouring out, you know, the uh, Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, see. Mm -hmm. See, go ahead. Has made me free. See, you're free. Just like DeAndre was up here talking about, wow, oh, I understand now. You're free. 
Yeah. So it's the right. same thing. See, that was at 50, right, Deandra? Mm -hmm. That was at 50. Right. So see, there's no more blood, no more show of blood. See, now you're free from all that. See, you're free. Go ahead. It made me free. Go ahead. From the law of sin and death. See, from that mental, see. From that law of Moses, from the law of sin and death. So that was the second bell. But, you know, just continue to come, y'all. Just continue to come. Just ask y'all to continue to put in your heart. It's very important for us to come together. See, it's very important for us to come together and come to hear what us say of Yahweh. So I just thank him and all honor and glory goes to our Savior Yahshua. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right, if there are no other announcements, <laughs> let us all stand that we might be dismissed. Okay. Mm. Right. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua, the Messiah, our Sovereign, belongs glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all times, now and ever, let us all stand. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.